even the best writer in the world can still get overlooked as a content creator. Because being a creator is not only about creating the best content, it's also about timing. And in this video, we're gonna show you how you can see the future and outsmart the competition with your incredible content timing using Google Trends. Google Trends is a great and free for all tool that tells you what people all over the world are searching on Google. Most content creators already know about Google Trends, but using it correctly, well, that is the true artistry. You can use Google Trends to get a picture of the top stories right now through daily search trends and real-time search trends. But for an independent creator, these stories are probably too popular, as you'll need to go head-to-head -head with the biggest websites in the world who are all talking about the same thing already. So how can you use Google Trends to get in front of the trend? Let's say you have a food blog and you wanna to put together a series of amazing healthy recipes that can really go viral. Put in healthy diet as a search topic. Adjust the location to where most of your audience comes from. You can toggle the category to food or leave it broad and simple. And check out these results. On a scale of zero to 100, that represents interest over time and not the total amount of searches. Can you see a pattern here? That's right, every January, people make a New Year's resolution to start watching their diet and the amount of searches for healthy diet topics goes through the roof. So if you want your healthy recipe project to get the traffic it deserves, you should hold on to it till the end of December and then ride the trend. But while you're waiting, how do you know what blog post to focus on today? Let's check out recipe searches over the past seven days. Scroll down to the related queries and choose rising. And here you can see that the search volume of brownie recipes, for example, has grown by 500% in the past seven days. So that'll be a great blog post idea to start working on today. Now, if you take brownie recipe and put that in the search, you can once again scroll down to the related queries, choose rising, and see exactly what kind of brownies the internet is excited about. So you can post your own take on them and ride the Google trend. This is only one example, of course, of how using Google Trends can really help you get noticed as a content creator. And it doesn't apply only to recipes. You can do the same with every creator niche you can think of. You can even use it to check out trending YouTube searches if you wanna create a new video. Another way to use Google Trends is when you have an article ready to go and just wanna compare two or three optional headings to find out which one gets searched more often. That'll help you in increasing the article's traffic and reaching your content's full potential. All in all, Google Trends is kind of like a data treasure chest for content creators. It's only a matter of reading the map correctly. Thank you for watching, and if you want to get more tips about creating content, you should definitely subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out our next videos.